You can store various items associated with your integration projects, such as jobs, contexts, metadata, and more in the Studio repository. Metadata is simply data about data. In the context of Talon Studio, metadata allows you to define and store information on files, databases, or systems that you need to create your jobs. You can configure each component in a job with metadata such as properties, attributes, or schemas built into that specific component. For example, here's a simple job designed to read data from a database table, process the data, and then write the data back to the database. Let's set the property type on the read and write components to built in and enter the database address and credentials directly into the component configuration. Now we can configure these components with separate credentials. However, if we make any changes to the database IP address, we'll need to update the address in the read and write components manually. One category of objects you can store in the Studio repository is metadata. Adding metadata to the repository, such as connection properties or schemas, makes it reusable and shareable by multiple components throughout your project. Any updates to the repository metadata can easily be propagated to all components that reference the same metadata. It's important to note that while metadata is shareable and reusable by components in a single job, you can also use it in different jobs within the same project. If we modify metadata stored in the repository, Studio displays a prompt to propagate the changes to any dependence. Let's select Yes. Now, we see all the components throughout the project that reference the modified metadata, and we can select which instances we want to update. In this demo, we'll use an existing database connection from the Studio repository and apply it to components in a job requiring access to the database. We'll also use the same database connection to retrieve and store the schema for a table in the same repository. Then we'll assign the connection details and the schema to a component in the job designer. Let's begin by viewing the sales DB connection details. Click Next, and on the second page, we see that the credentials for the MySQL database have been pre-populated. Click Cancel. Now let's use the SalesDB connection to connect to and retrieve the schema from the customer's retail table. Click Next, Open Training, and check Customer's Retail. Click Next and Finish. Under Table Schemas, the new customer's retail table schema appears in the repository. Now, let's import the connection and schema metadata into our job components. Notice that the DB components do not contain any database credentials. Let's populate the component tab by dragging the sales DB component from metadata onto the input component. Notice that the property type changes to repository and the host, port, database, username, and password fields have been populated. Alternatively, we can assign repository metadata by selecting the component, this time we'll select the output component, changing the property type to repository, and then clicking the ellipses on the right, and using the selector, we'll assign the required metadata. In this case, we've chosen to use the repository metadata for the connection details. However, we can also use a built-in schema and edit it. Configuring the component to use common connection details from the repository, but using a schema specific to this component.